Welcome to a St Lawrence Faith Talk. The St Lawrence Faith Talks are a series of short talks which just aim to provoke further thought and reflection on faith. It might be of a central Christian virtue, it might be on a person from the Bible or our Christian history, or it might be about the subject of faith itself, what it means to live a life of faith, what are the characteristics and dimensions of faith. Now last week I talked about faith as being grounded in reality and the longer I practice my Christian faith the more I believe that is without doubt true. People often say that faith is an escape from reality But my conviction is the opposite. Faith is an invitation to a deep engagement with reality, a deep engagement with the world as it really is, not as the world as we would have it be. Faith is capable of opening our eyes, opening our ears, changing the rhetoric of our tongues, enlarging our hearts. Faith helps us to see and hear things as they really are. Ah. And that's all well and good. And of course, I think and I profoundly believe we see that from the life and witness of Jesus from those great gospel stories. He saw the world as it really was with its hypocrisy, its sin, its ability to ostracise people, to create false demarcations between different groups of people. But he also saw the potential in every human being what people could become, what people people were capable of. So it's not just a negative reality, but a positive reality, a reality that takes into account capability. And I think that once we've engaged with that reality, faith then is an invitation to imagine. Faith is is an, an exercise of imagination, of visioning, of revisioning, if you like, the world as it can and perhaps should be. And our vision, of course, is all around the kingdom of God. And the desire of the person of faith must surely be to bring that kingdom to earth as in heaven. So it is about creating a better world, a world where justice and love and good and godly relationships between all people have the potential to exist. Faith is about looking out for the poor, the needy, the homeless, the refugee, the lost, the isolated, the bereaved, the mourning. Faith is about building up community and solidarity between people from a place of recognition that that doesn't necessarily exist by itself. It's not a given. It's something we work and strive towards. So from reality to vision and to enactment on that vision. And of course, for the Christian, the vision isn't just about this life, but about eternal life, the life of the world to come. But that essence of eternal life starts in the here and now with the desire to bring the kingdom of God to earth as in heaven. So there's a prayer that I really like that I often read at funerals. It's an ancient prayer from, I think, the Serum Rite, although I stand to be corrected. And it's a prayer that I think takes us on that journey from reality to seeing and hearing things as they really are to vision and on into eternity. God be in my head and in my understanding. God be in my eyes and in my looking. God be in my mouth and in my speaking. God be in my heart and in my thinking. God be at my end and at my departing. This prayer talks about the penetration of faith into all aspects of our life. In our head, in our eyes, in our mouth, on our tongues, in our hearts, in our thinking, at our end and at our departing. 
Amen.